Hi! The beautiful screen unfurl effect in PowerPoint you will learn today looks like this. A hand comes and unfurls the screen and a new scene is shown. You can use this effect to make an announcement as well. For example, you can see that the screen is unfolded and you have an announcement made. You can also use this effect as a transition. For example, here is the screen closed. On a click, you can see that the screen is unfurled, a scene is shown, then the screen is closed, and then a new scene is revealed like this. So there are a number of ways you can use this very interesting effect. You can do this using custom animation and also using morph animation. So I'll show you both the techniques. You can choose whichever you want. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first step is to create the panel from which the screen unfurls. For that, let us go to AutoShapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and let us draw a bar like so. And maybe we can reduce the size a bit like this. Go to Shape Outline, No Outline and then give it a slight gray color like so. Now let us draw the two iron rods that hold the panel. So let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw these two rectangular bars and then make sure that they are aligned properly. So let us go to align top after selecting both of them, go to shape fill and give it black color, go to shape outline, say no outline, right click, send them to back, select this and press control G. So we have a unit created that remains. Now this is not animated. What is animated is the screen below this. So how do we create the screen? Once again, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle like so. Now this is the screen on which we are going to have the projection happen. Right click, send this to back. Maybe you can add a light gray color so it is distinguished from the background. Go to shape outline, say no outline, or if you want to have a light gray outline, you can do so as well. And let us create a small rectangular bar at the bottom. Let us go to auto shapes gallery and let us have the same dimensions as this. So let us draw it like this and then let us reduce the size like so and then place it over here and make sure that you use smart guide to ensure that everything is aligned properly. And this also needs to have the same color as this. So let us go to shape fill and let us use the same gray color. Go to shape outline, say no outline. Let us create a ring so it can be held. So let us go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this one called as circle hollow. And then let us draw a ring like so. And then use the yellow handle to reduce the width. Now that looks good. Now to cut this into half, I'm going to use a rectangular shape. Let us have it like so. First select this ring, hold the shift button down, then let us select the rectangle and then let us go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape subtract. Then let us have this in the same dark color that we used earlier. Go to shape outline, say no outline. Let us select this, this and this and make sure that everything is aligned to the center. Press control G to group it, right click and then let us send this to back and let us move this all the way to the top like so using the arrow key on our keyboard. Now this is the closed position. Now this gray screen should not be visible. So we are going to have a white rectangle to cover that up like so. And then let this be of the same fill color as the slide area. So let us go to shape fill and use white color, go to shape outline, no outline. But then we want to show the rest of the stuff. So let us select this panel here and bring this to front. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see that only the panel is seen and the screen is not visible. Excellent. Now, let us have a hand come by going to insert. Let us go to icons and let us choose a hand icon by going here and by using hand. And you would find this option here, which is right for us. Let us go to insert and then let us rotate this slightly like so. And this is how the hand is going to pull it down. So let us increase the size and let us place this here. Now it is time for us to unfurl this. So what do we do? Let us select this group, go to add animation 
and say motion paths lines you can see that the end point is here we want it to be even further down so let us hold the shift button down and let us go down now that is a desired length now we have got our animation for the screen we need to have the hand moving along with that as well so let us select this animation animation painter and then click on the hand and that also moves exactly to the same distance now to this hand we need to add animation so let us select this add animation and have it float in and that is what is the first animation so we move this right to the top and then right after that we have this unfurling happening of both the hand and the screen so let us say with previous let us select both of them and let us go to effect options and say no smooth end and no smooth start and say ok so that is how the unfurling happens now we are going to have a picture which fills this space here so let us go to home go to rectangle shape and then create a rectangle like so now by selecting this you know the exact end animation position now that looks perfect to me i can go to insert pictures first go to stock images let us first insert a picture onto the slide let us select this picture and say insert it doesn't really matter which picture it is let us add a bit of transparency so we can position it properly i'm going to move this so this is just the right position then let us select transparency bring it to zero transparency let us select this and then let us select the shape at the back and then go to shape format merge shapes and say shape intersect now that is perfect now this gets faded in by going to animations and fade animation and this happens after previous so on a click a float in animation happens which brings the hand in and then we have the unfurling happening and then we have this image appear so when I go to slideshow, this is the initial position. On a click, you can see a hand comes float in and then we have unfurling and then the image is shown. And instead of the picture, you can have this as a mere shape, add some text and that becomes your announcement. Now let us see how to do this with morph transition. Let us remove all these animations. We don't really need them. Let us duplicate this slide. Now we are going to remove the elements that are not required on the first slide. So we don't really require this picture because that only happens after the unfurling happens. We need to have this float in animation of hand. So let us select this and add float in animation. So that happens on a click. Then in the duplicate slide, you can see the end position. Let us select this and this portion which holds the screen. So let us select both of them and show the final position. So that is the final position. Let us go here. Let us cut this out and then put it over here. Now this is where the image is shown. Let us move this and position it properly. Now let us add transitions and morph transition. So that is how it happens. Perfect. Now I can see that I have animation on this hand instead of the previous hand. So that is something that we need to change. Let us remove this here. Let us go to the first slide and let us apply a float in animation to this one and that is where it is. Now when I go to the first slide, go to slideshow, you can see on a click we have the float in animation. Then on a click we have the morph animation happen like this showing the picture. Now if you want to close the screen it is very simple. Let us copy this and then place it over here and then let us add morph transition to this one and this happens and ensure that there is no animation here on the hand so let us select this and delete it let us go to the first slide go to slideshow on a click we have float in and then we have this happening and then we have the screen closing and then in the next one you can always right click and duplicate slide and then place it after this and you can replace this with some other picture right click and let us say change picture from stock images and let me choose some other image maybe this time i can choose this image and say insert now the image is replaced now when i go to the first slide go to slideshow this is the first one then we have a hand come in and then the unfurling happens then it is closed and then we have unfurling happening and then we have the second image so you can use this as a transition as well so whether you use morph animation or you use simple motion path animation, you can get the same kind of interesting effect. 
you like this tutorial and you want to master PowerPoint, then the right resource is Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program available online. If you are a beginner in PowerPoint and you want to pick up the basics in a very strong way, then Complete PowerPoint Foundation course is the right one for you. Of course, when you get this program, this is bundled in. If you liked this tutorial and you want to take your PowerPoint Morph skills to the next level, then you can try this video called PowerPoint Morph Creative Animation Trick. I will leave a link to this video in the screen right now. You can click on the link, watch the video and learn a very useful trick that will help you showcase your photos in an interesting way. Go ahead, click, watch the video and I'll see you inside.